me, Sava, and today I will show you how to build a mini telegraph. I saw the idea of the telegraph at the Computer History Museum. Watch how it works! Let's teleport to the Computer History Museum and then I'll show you how to build it. I'm standing in a computer history museum. Over right here, we have telegraphs. This one uh, was released by Thomas Edison in 1875. This telegraph could print letters um, and give them to you. It prints one letter per second. But this telegraph right here, which was released 15 years after, instead of printing letters, it sounded, it sounded paper with dots and dashes to you, which a trained operator could, could read later. Right here, we have the lines that connected the, the telegraphs all around the world. Um, this happened 160 years ago. And back then, people could even put lines um, for telegraph machines underwater. That's it. And now, I'm going to explain about my own telegraph. Oh, our print is ready. <laughs> this is... Um, the most important part of a, of a telegram we're making. We design the cases and everything ourselves. We have the motor, which goes inside the, uh, which goes inside here. The, the most important component, as I already said. It goes right here. We, it lies in the side, nice and smoothly. Just snaps in. This thing uh, rolls the paper. The paper we have right here is the telegraph paper. It lies like this, or like this. I'm not very sure. But still, it rolls, uh, the motor rolls the paper. So, what else do we have? We have the, uh, this thing. It snaps in right here. There we go. And so what does it do? What it does is it moves the pen left and right, left and right. So right here we have the uh, mini solenoid. It moves the paper up and down. So when, for example, if we need to make a space or, or like a, bl a blank part, this thing moves the paper down so the pen could not write anything. So it goes in right here. We have also more parts to print. Well, we're gonna have transistors, Arduino. So this is like the head, the brain. I'm sure you know. The most important part of this thing is that I can make text into movements of the um, of the motor, like up, make the. Many songs I go up and down. It, it can make text into code that will control the whole system, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. So, we also have some tr transistors that. But here, here comes a fun part. So, remember how I told you we're, we're gonna roll paper through? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I showed that this is gonna roll the paper. Well, this is kind of hard to roll the paper with. So we came up with this idea that we're gonna use these things that go um, on on headphones and then uh, in your ear. <laughs> we're gonna put put them on, and it's gonna um, it's rubber, so it's gonna work as a wheel.
Do we have a bunch of them? <laughs> we also got an on and off switch. Ah, uh, yeah. So, and that's about it. So now, let me show you what we have on the computer. <laughs> Oh, okay, so whatever. Let me show you what we got uh, on our files. So, as I already told you, I think I got one stuck in my eye. <laughs> We've um, we found the idea on the internet of making a telegraph. You know, this machine that everyone used before email or phones were invented. So, right, uh, come here. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> Right here we have the um, the model, right here. This highlighted model, which is surrounded by these blue lines, is what we've already printed. So we we, we also have like little components. But there's a there's also one interesting part right here. This part. It, this is like the case for the electronics and everything. It will have Arduino, uh, microprocessor, the, the everything, the brain. So that's about it. Let me show what we have accomplished. Right here, as you can see, we've um, we've added this thing. Which is a holder for a pen. Mm -hmm. The pen will go through and it's gonna print on this piece of paper that will go, um, that will be wrote by this little motor. So, how does this work? This moves the pen left to right. And the solenoid would go in here to push up or push down the paper to, uh, while writing to make spaces and stuff like that. So that's about it. That's where we are. Me and my dad are almost done with this project. Let me tell you what we have accomplished. Underneath, we've added a solenoid which um, pushes paper up or down to make dots or make spaces and to generally write. As I already explained, this right here moves the pen left and right. And this, this model right here, uh, pushes the paper forward. All of this is being controlled by the Arduino Nano, which is located right here. We have a boot module, module for um, for sending information onto the telegraph, like for example, you know, like on your on your phone, uh, like in the other room, you text. Hello, and then in the kitchen, it prints hello. Also, we've got uh, the power right here, which powers the whole system. A transistor, and let me show you how this works. See, it's writing something. As you can see, it's already working and writing something. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned how to how this telegraph works. Um, goodbye, everyone. Subscribe to this channel and to my vlog. Goodbye.